Good morning, ladies and gamers. It's time back with some platinum ranked StarCraft 2 gameplay. Going up against a Zerg. And uh, hopefully, it should be a good game. I uh, absolutely despise. Not despise Zerg. It's not my favorite. I love Terran. I like to go up against Terran. <laughs> you know? Um. Zerg is just finicky sometimes. I mostly hate the early game. GLHF. Uh, mostly hate the early game. I just feel like... Kind of hate Zerglings. I think that's really where my my bigotry lies. I uh, don't like... Don't like the Zerglings. Okay. Um, let's see what's up here. Can I block this? Okay. Gonna hold on to that. No way, he just ignores it. Right? Feel like there should be some more. There is a spawning pool. Gonna do a little bit of a cheeky build. I was going to block his hatchery, the pylon, and um, didn't work out. Uh, I'm probably gonna get one of these. Uh, build this first. Just wanna get one of these out. I'm gonna go in a depth rush. Here's this bad boy. Boy should be chillin'. Oh, no. he's gonna survive. He'll survive in time for that. Woof! Got very nervous for a second. There was a, a split second where I was like, I've I've lost it all. I've lost it all. Okay, what is this guy supposed to do? Mass Adept is what I do now. This is going to get online. Observer goes, and then... The other thing goes. Uh, Warp Prism will also come. I still need more gateways. Uh, Observer goes, Warp Prism goes. And, uh, and then I just blam adepts. Um, one more should go. Excuse me, why is it not showing me how much stuff I could put there? Thank you. <laughs> Have you seen that before? Come on! Don't know what my saturation's like. Okay, should be good. It's gonna be online in about 10 seconds. Everything else is coming together. This guy 
guys just got circlings right now. Oh, they're there. Bane link bust. He could rebuild or destroy the. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. The firstborn shall persevere. Where shall we march? Glorious combat is upon us. Just do this. Oh, amazing splits. Glory to the day long. Naja The first born shall persevere. Okay. Let's cancel this. Let none deter us. Give us your command. Not gonna cancel this. The Templar march. Um, I'm gonna build Immortal. Immediately expand. I have met the enemy. Get another immortal out. Oh he just quit! Let's go! Oh, okay. I really felt like he had the snuff to just beat me there. Oh my gosh. Woo. Look at this guy. View profile. Platinum 1v1. Diamond currently. Let's go. Oh, that feels so good. Match history. He's holding firm in diamond. Um, okay, I want to look at this because I really felt like, look, I was floating a ton of minerals. Wasn't supply capped like he was, jeez. Um, this is what I want to see. Okay, my army value was higher, but you can see he was steadily producing. Problem with me was I had everything locked up in adepts who don't kill roaches very well. And problem with roach, so... Then his response, he's got two things he could do. My understanding, at, the, at my level of play, he's got two things he could do. He could build roaches. Roaches are armored units. Adepts do extra to light units, right? So zerglings are light units. Um, I mean, he could build banelings like he did, but I, you just split, and I split okay. But, um, yeah, so he can build roaches. If he gets roaches out, problem is that they're slow. Roaches are really slow. And then I just dip, dip around like I did. Didn't get to see how much I killed, which I'm about to look at now. Oh! I killed a lot. Um, all he has to do is just run away. Oh my god, I killed everything. Ten workers. He went from 38. I killed 28 workers. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so once, I mean, basically when that happens, you don't have any money. <laughs> he could have came down, but I would have had overcharge ready. I did like the Bane Link bus, but he didn't have anything to follow it up with, you know? Um, so I was a little bit confused on that. Like, I understand a Bane Link bus. Bane Link bus is to break down the wall of the Protoss. Once you break it down, you're supposed to immediately 
funnel units down my throat, right? If you if you get uh, if you're in a hot dog eating contest, right, and you open your mouth to eat a hot dog and you don't put a hot dog in there, you're gonna lose the competition. All right, this is where he's at. Converts everything. Now look, he's got nothing. I think my observer is not here yet. This observer catches it though. He's got like two links behind this. I have warp gate. My gates finish, so this probably should have been earlier. Exactly. He, fin he just takes all the time he needs. Nothing here. He's got good production, but he has no money. He gets a third, and this is the thing. He gets a third, but he doesn't saturate it, right? I say, I mean, I don't know if... I'm sure the pros who are better than us. He's got 16-16, right? He's got good saturation. He's got eight circlings. Bust it down. I mean, for all intents and purposes, this is open, right? He's got three zerglings, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then about twenty more. With these, I feel like I did not come across those, did I? Yeah, he recall. He takes them back. Felt like he could have killed me actually, if he just kept them streaming. Yeah, this and this. How much is that? Sixteen zerglings. I'll take it. That if we speed up, look, he never saturates the space. He has the money to do it. I spent way too long on this. I should have immediately left. Like, I'm not going to kill this, you know. And if I do, he just goes for a different third. Throw this in. He's got a bunch of stuff. I think I... Maybe I should have finished the shade here and fought on the ramp. These are finishing. I think I split okay. I don't know why I didn't explode him. I mean, that was actually pretty bad splitting. Does a lot of damage. And then he's got roaches, brings all the queens in. And I just don't have enough yet. Uh, I think I kind of botched this. I should have grouped them better. But my APM's just not high enough. People, some I have 160 APM. <laughs> and pros have, like, up to 700 APM. Uh, 400 is, like, the, the good... Like, is good APM. Yeah, and I'm... About a third of that. Anyways, I lose everything here. I'm like, these guys aren't going to do anything. So I just shade. And I was like, I'm going to cancel this because he's got everything here. Finish the shade. And they're just going to kill everything. Roaches are late. Doesn't move any of his workers. In fact, attacks me. Doesn't even come to the second. Can I see what his perspective was? What was he doing? This is his perspective. My hands are off. Let's see what was going on. Okay, so he sees the shade, right? He's like grabbing everybody. He saw the shade. Did he just think I was going to cancel? He A moves to the corner. He's just watching. <laughs> he just watches it happen. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Thank you, sir. Quit replay. All right. I'll. Uh, I'm gonna play another one, and because I'm just gonna be playing all night. And uh, if I if I don't see you get it, it means I lost my next one. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time, unless we just keep it rolling like this. It's just me and you, baby. Just me and you. All right, cross our fingers for Terran. Terran! Summon our energy. Our anti-Terran. Yes! Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> ah, sorry about that. Oops. <laughs> e, come on, GLHF. Um, we love this. This is good. Um, I think we actually are supposed to keep this close. Reason being, it's fast. Um, I see people do this in PVT. 
PvP and PvZ, you want a wall. Um, but in this, you don't really care. Um, I'm going to send him out now. Um, because... Um, I just want to see if he's proxying anything. This is a big map. It is very nice to proxy on, you know? Because uh, it's huge, this map. And if you proxy something, it cuts down the rush time by a lot. And uh, can really throw a wrench in your plans. So I'm just going to do that. Cybernetics core obviously going to be next. I don't see a wall. Right. I see this. This tells me he is proxying. Which tells me I need this immediately. I'm gonna throw this down for insurance. Future Chase will thank me. I'm gonna throw down another one of these bad boys. Cause I don't trust him anymore. I'm even gonna put a safe pylon. Gotta keep the production pumping, keep the probes going. Gotta get an adept out. Warp gate. So he's either bad or he's proxying, right? Um, and if he's bad, I'm gonna feel a lot of shame about this decision. Um, I'm not seeing nothing. This is going to come down. These guys are going to come up. Not seeing nothing. Probe Scout's not finding anything. This puts up my timing behind for everything. Once I get that up, I'll feel a lot safer about everything. Okay. Well, this is awkward. I should go for a big all-in, right? That's what you do. Your plans go bad, you all-in. <laughs> That's what you do. Um, I do want to get this thing down. You have not enough minerals. Plan will be a little bit behind. Um, debating if I should build a warp gate or twilight council. You have not enough minerals. But I want both, you know. Which is like, you can't have both, you know. There's that, that cute little taco kid, why not both? You can't have both in, in StarCraft. Um, now, I do have my insurance pylon. Um, I don't see anything happening, though. Like, is this guy just not know how to play the game? Like, why did he not immediately put a barracks down? I'm hesitant to push out. Reason being, if I push out and he's there, I just die. Like, anything I send out is just going to die. So you kind of don't want to push out, but I need to. I need more information. I'm gonna die on the information I have, and he has not spotted my insurance pylon. And um, insurance is a scam, and so I really want to get some value with that uh, insurance pylon. I'm just gonna push up. If he's here, then uh, maybe he he thinks that I dumped a lot more into. I have no idea what this guy's doing. I'm gonna pop this guy. He has to have a secret base, right? This guy's bad. He just doesn't know how to play the game. Okay. Um, sometimes you get this. People at different MMRs. 
Okay, he has a planetary fortress. That explains a lot. Sometimes you do see this happen. It's unfortunate. But I do have to kill you, my friend. <clears throat> Usually StarCraft matchmaking is uh, pretty nice. You don't get this too often, but it does happen. Just kind of have to, you know. It's like, it's like putting your family, family dog down. You know, it's like I'm, I'm sorry. I wish you had a better time. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not the only one sad about it. PP. PP means pause. Pause, please. I believe it means. Um, I don't know why he wants to pause. He's about to lose the game. He's on one base. Only salvation is maybe he... I mean, he built a planetary fortress, which tells me he just doesn't know how to play the game. And also tells me he is wasting time. Um, some people do this sometimes. He might be upset that I put a pylon in his base, but... Could be friends switching off. <laughs> One friend is like, hey, you play and when you feel like it's too much, pause. And I'll take over. I don't think he's coming back. I think this guy... It's courtesy to explain why you're pausing. So anybody can pause, which is kind of crazy in, in StarCraft. Okay. It's courtesy to explain why you need to pause if it's going to take longer than 10 seconds. Um, it's occurring to me that this guy doesn't know how to unpause. I'm here in the shadows. Well, I'm basically on T base. Should always win this These sentries are gonna go up He paused. He's very reluctant to surrender. I'm floating a ton of minerals. I don't really care um, for obvious reasons. Just gonna hold position. This could be a miraculous bait. I always, you know, in StarCraft, you always have to be prepared for Plan B. And so whenever I play a game, oops, you know, I'm always like, but what if, you know? Okay, everybody's on hold position. There is no plan B, though. He's, he's just dying a very slow and painful death. Can I do it in time? You must construct additional pylons. I am the voice. I am the voice. I am the 
There it goes. Built this just yeah, okay. <laughs> just leaves. <laughs> okay. The ha I feel like it had to be a placement match, yeah. Get those sometimes. Nope, he is um He's at my MMR. He's been diamond before. Ladder career summary. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> No idea what that was. All right, I'm going to queue up again. If not, if I lose this next one, I'll see you guys next time. I'm just going to give that disclaimer all the time now. And then it's like a game, you know? How many times does Chase say, we keep going? Ah. We're going to keep going. Second one, falled a little flat. Okay, this one's nice. I'm excited for this game. GLHF. I'm excited for this game. Uh, for one very precise reason. Some maps are like this, where you're at the same like, location. You get what I'm saying? Um, he's top right, I'm top left, as opposed to cross spawn. Cross spawn is the word that I'm looking for. And uh, what this means is air attacks are especially potent. And uh, what I'm going to do is basically an air attack. Um, I'm going to send this guy across now. And uh, it's basically an air attack. I'm going to send a warp prison with stalkers. It's my current Protoss build. It's uh, really fast, and I feel like people just don't expect it coming. And I uh, found a lot of favor with it. Uh, it's super fun. Basically, pump out... Um, a uh what's it called got a hotkey that guy a this thing twilight council and a robo facility pretty much immediately gonna get this going full wall off from him shout outs to him this is how you're supposed to play the game uh, i'm gonna get this bad boy down Nexus comes next. Drop that. My hotkeyed one probe is going to drop another pylon here. My second pylon. When this comes up, I want to have enough gas, which I will, for uh, warp gate. 50 50 is how much it costs. I'm going to immediately chrono boost that, and I'm going to get the next thing in my chain, which is Twilight Council. Reason I want. Sorry. Uh, reason I want a Twilight Council. Is, oh, this is that interesting base. Um, reason I want a Twilight Council is I want to get Blink before I get the Observer. Um, but I do want this out. Oh, I forgot about this part of the game. I did. I did forget this. But I don't care. Don't die. Don't die, my homie. It's okay. He's attacking the once. This is like the worst thing you could do with a Reaper Scout. I mean, he's actually gotten like four kills. Um, disregard everything I'm saying. I'm, I'm throwing. He's attacking the, the, um, any Vespian guest from anybody, please. I spent way too much time on that. Um, basically, I think I did this incorrectly, actually. I feel like I'm supposed to send out... I'm supposed to build Robo before the Twilight. I don't know for sure, though. Definitely know I need some more gateways. This is going to go here. Back to full base saturation. He gets more value than I wanted him to get. Hopefully we'll be okay. Four minutes is about the time I am supposed to be hitting with this build. 
which uh, tells you that I suck. <laughs> Gonna push this guy out. I don't. I always keep grabbing two when I don't want to grab two. Okay. There's four gates. No. Do you see some? There's a. There it is. Okay. Blink will be online soon. I'm gonna get another one of these bad boys popping. This is a hard spot to blink up. But this is what I can do. Which is kind of cheeky. Okay. Should tell him that something's up. Okay, there's a drop coming. Only got one. Oh, Vespin, you're joking, actually. Should we game? Nice, let's go. Woo! Okay, a little bit weird. I think I eventually got that Banshee. I just, the alerts, the alerts went away and I was like, eh, I hope he's dead. <laughs> okay, woo! That is three wins back to, I lost games before this. Don't think that I'm, I'm on a tear or anything like that. Yes, look at this. This guy's diamond, let's go. Holy cow, dude! Late game, I suck. Uh, all my all my grinding is is contingent on my early game right now. Holy cow! Army value. He just stopped building stuff. He didn't protect his tanks. Um, his marines were like kind of there, and then he pulled everything. But then like, it was a bad spot. And that map, I'll be honest, that map is hard to see. This is when he pulled his stuff. It's hard to defend against that on that map um i do want to see very quickly always watch your replays if you think this is boring just skip over it there's a, a a thing there's this button you can press bing 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 you could just you could just skip through this part if you think that it's boring um basically want to skip through i i think that i did see at one point that he was building something out of his starport and that usually means two things. Either A, it's a medevac. And I think I said, my head was there. I don't know if I said it out loud. I said he's going for a drop. I thought a medevac was coming. It wasn't a medevac. I missed it entirely. It was a banshee that was coming. And uh, he does get his second up. My second is just earlier. It's not perfect. Um, this. This is a banshee. I wish I could cancel it right now retroactively change the game that'd be crazy but they have they, there's movies made about that kind of stuff really cool skin he has it's very yellow uh, but this this is his 
everything. He's got a bunch of stuff here. Um, I accidentally lose a stalker, if I remember correctly, because these guys A move and then I I grab one. You see, I have this one selected. Or no, no, no pardon me. It's, that's my observer selecting him. I didn't see this guy run by at all. There's the Banshee. And I thought this was a medevac going for a drop, which is why I thought there was so few Marines. Or I thought there was going to be Hellions or something. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that. Because there's no reactor. This kind of stuff you got to watch for. So now he knows. He's, he is suspicious. Now he sees Stalkers up here. Doesn't reposition the Siege Tank. Doesn't immediately pump another Siege Tank. He has the money for it. Look at him. His APM's just too low. He's microing this. And he has a one grand. I have this up. I have this. I chrono this out. And then I just leave. Right? Look, he's still microing it. As I'm destroying his marines. Nice. Then all of his marines die. Then he goes, okay, well maybe I should move this now. Does decide to build the second tank. At this point right here, I felt like, okay, I have two warp ins. He's got two CJ tanks coming. I kind of thought like I was just too late on this. Um, and I was. I was late, but he's not spending like he should be. Really felt like I needed to get more uh, gateways down. This is where he pulls. And then he just takes like the worst fight of his life. Like, obviously, I'm going to. He commits to it, too. Pretty hard. With, uh, without the siege tank, doesn't reposition as he gains ground. If you reposition the siege tank and brought it up, that would have been a great pick. Did he? Where's the other siege? Oh. What happened to the other siege tank? Did I kill it? Oh, did, I think it pops out on this side, right? Yeah. Which is pretty bad. Like that, I'm going to take that opportunity. Any time of the week, I'm going to take that opportunity. Yep, and then he does this, which is... Okay, these come up front. There's nothing there, but they are attacking. Didn't even... These weren't even in my, my mind at this point in time. Oh, he actually reacts to this. He repairs it. That's why he ditched this. Okay. That's a win. We take those. Those, of course, die, but I don't... Do not care at all about those. This is free. He has another one coming, but everything's done now. He's got six Marines. And a medevac. Wow. Okay. I think I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. <laughs> 38 minutes in, three wins. And, uh, well, one was like a half win. That one guy was really bad. The second guy. First and third guy, did fun they did great. You know, admirable. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll I'll see you guys next time. Um, probably going to go on a, a losing streak after this. Um, I'll see you guys next time.